Washington, D.C., the Senate got their act together last year after many, many years of the community putting pressure on them, and they passed immigration reform. However, across the way, in the House of Representatives, 234 Republicans have not given us what we need, and our time is now. <laughs> President Obama has been giving Congress a lot of space and has been deporting millions and millions of families while giving them this space. And yet, the House GOP has refused to act. They have been the party of no, even though our time is now. We thought that Republicans would get it done before the August recess because we thought they understood the demographic changes that are uh, coming their way since it's an election year but they still do not get it. They don't understand that they have to quit acting like zombies. Instead, we are forgetting about the Republican Party since we know that they have failed us and we are focusing on our president. President Obama signed the administrative relief for our families, for workers, for America. Sign it! they do not help with immigration reform. Thank you. You know, we've definitely noticed that uh, Speaker Boehner and uh, Leader Kevin McCarthy and the GOP have been very zombie-like uh, in Congress, uh, and this has no better than been represented by them, their continued inaction on immigration reform. Uh, we know that for a number of years, faith groups, businesses and labor organizations and a wide array of folks you know have joined immigrant rights groups to to try and put pressure to pass some kind of comprehensive immigration reform legislation and house republicans have either blocked or missed every opportunity to deliver on this issue or they, the only legislation they have moved forward is vehemently anti-immigrant such as defunding DACA and have decided to side with extremists within their party. This past July, uh, we saw that President Obama is also frustrated with the GOP and he himself has announced that by the end of the summer he would take administrative action on immigration reform. We're gonna stand behind in support of the president and him using his full constitutional authority to bring positive change for and support families and businesses and our American values here in Kern County. For too long we have forced many of Americans workers to pay into our social security system and prop up Medi-Cal with absolutely no opportunity to ever receive the benefits. They pay local taxes, they support schools, local government services, all of, all of this while wondering if they will ever be able to spend another night with their families or if an ICE raid will find them in a, in a private for-profit jail cell. 
Now, we have thousands of children trying to escape a dangerous and violent world we helped to create. Some of these children have been deported back to their countries like Honduras, where some have already been murdered. All of this because our elected officials refuse to sit down and iron out the details of a comprehensive bill. This laziness has to stop. It is not okay not to act. It is not okay to not lead on an issue that impacts so many people in this country. It is simply not okay. I recognize and I stand with you that getting to the right solution will involve compromise, it will involve honesty, it will involve some pain. But we must get there and we must get there now because too many people are impacted on a daily basis to the point of cruelty. Families are depending upon our leaders to take seriously the everyday devastation that is faced by families who are here working hard, who are great Americans and deserve an opportunity for safety and peace in their homes. We've got folks like Kevin McCarthy who have forgotten what it means to get elected to office and to do things because that's what we send someone office to do. We've got to come to the reality and the understanding that uh, it's maybe time we get something done. And let's move on to the hundreds of other issues we could probably be talking about right now instead of talking about immigration reform, which is so plain and simple. It's so easy to fix. It's something Republicans, Democrats, and independents support. We just can't get it done. So I'm calling on Kevin McCarthy to, you know, uh, take advantage of this newfound leadership position he has and be the leader we, uh, we believe and know he can be and get something done on this. We're confounded and very disappointed at Congress's inability to work and deliver on immigration reform. Even more disappointing is even as recently as last year through H.R. 15, Congress had an opportunity to vote on an immigration reform bill that truly was a compromise. Knowing it had the votes to win, H.R. 15 was not allowed to even come up for a vote, and we have this fellow back here to thank for that. The Kern County Hispanic Chamber of Commerce understands why it is important President Obama do what Congress has been unwilling to do. We stand behind the President as he moves forward in bringing relief to millions of hardworking families across this nation. Yo me beneficiaría de, de, este, um, de inmigración, de immigration reform, porque me daría un permiso de trabajo. Mi familia somos cinco. A uh, todos son ciudadanos, mi esposo y mis tres hijos, yo soy la única que no que no tiene un estatus. So, I would benefit from immigration reform and that hasn't happened. Um, but I would benefit from a work permit. Um, I have a family of five. I am undocumented and four my husband and my, my children are citizens. Um, eso nos ayudaría positivamente porque um, yo um, traería income to my house y le ayudaría a mi esposo a pagar la casa para que no la pudiéramos perder en caso que él perdiera el trabajo. So having a job um, to be able to work would stabilize the family, would be able to stay, you know, keep our home and not worry about mortgage payments and, and all that. Le por eso le pedimos a Republicano McCarthy que tome una acción una acción que sea permanente para que todos nosotros podamos um, contribuir a, a la economía. That's why I'm asking Congressman McCarthy for the permanent solution to this, which is immigration reform. Um, we need it. And, you know, she's going to benefit from the, you know, the president's announcements. Um, but the permanent solution is really an immigration reform. That's the path to citizenship down the line. What else is there to say about Kevin McCarthy that hasn't already been said? Uh, we were told we were going to get a majority leader. What we ended up with is a majority wiener. He has sat on his hands and done nothing about immigration reform. This office will be one year. It's been locked to the public in October. Before we have fasted, we have marched, we have protested, we have sat in his office and nothing. So our response to McCarthy is organizing the largest progressive campaign that this county has ever seen. We're unifying labor, immigration groups, uh, faith groups and community organizations to come under one banner and to elect pro-immigration candidates and to take out those that obstruct us. Uh, we may not have victory this year in some races, but we are building our capacity. We are registering voters, we are talking to constituents, and McCarthy, we will take you out eventually. Mark my word. I say yes 
on 121 jobs that would be directly attributed to comprehensive immigration reform just in California alone. I say yes on 10 billion in revenue directly attributed to comprehensive immigration reform just in our county alone by 2020. And I say yes on economic opportunity for our local families and our businesses. And I also say yes to all of our immigrants that are living in the shadows to come out. And we stand behind you, Mr. President. Let's make a move on administrative relief for the thousands of immigrants in our communities. Once I did receive my DACA, it was one of the happiest moments in my life because I've always dreamed about being able to go to school and work. I now have the opportunity to pursue other dreams, including graduating from college and working in the Human Service Department to help victims of domestic violence and foster youth to create succeeding individuals. If President Obama were to take action on immigration, it would impact my life incredibly. My mom was fighting asylum for 10 years. She just recently got it. But to see every other family experience the same happiness and peace of mind would be incredible. Families shouldn't have to live in fear. We need President Obama to, to act and why it's necessary because people like Congressman Kevin McCarthy and the House GOP have not been doing their jobs of serving the people and the constituents that they represent.